wasn't important until Oak Ridge, until the Rockwell document came out in 2014. Nobody could have said anything much about the British bomb from just from the formula. You could say, oh, well, that's interesting. It does show an awful lot of uranium-234, which, you know, which is really bad. And, and so, you know, this is bad for, for people working on the site and maybe it caused cancer and all the rest of it. But uh, you couldn't have said anything about the origin of the material that they were using. But then, of course, as soon as in 2014, the United States published this thing, this paper that showed the formula for the Oak Ridge enriched uranium, then you can put two and two together and say, well, that the Americans were supplying the British with uh, enriched uranium. And there's a little, there's a little, little, little piece of in interesting evidence that goes with this. In 1999, I defended as an expert, as an expert witness, those were the days. Um, with Hugo Charlton, I defended these two old ladies from Greenham Common who cut the fence at the atomic weapons establishment at Aldermaston. One of them was called Sarah Hipperson, and the other was, um, I can't remember the other one, the name anyway, it's probably on the internet somewhere. Anyway, so round about that time, there was a big case relating to the discovery of an enormous amount of enriched uranium around the Greenham Common, United States Air Force Greenham Common Air Base near Newbury, where there was a child leukemia cluster. There was a big child leukemia cluster near the, near the USAF Air Base. Of course, by then it, had, it, it was folding, folding up. And there were a lot of these uh, Greenham Common women who are the anti-war women, the, the band, the bomb women, who lived in a camp at Greenham Common. Very famous camp. I know a lot of those women. And, the, and these were two of them that, were, that, were, that had cut the fence at Aldermaston. Anyway, in 1961, two scientists called Cripps and Stimson um, did a study of enriched uranium contamination around the airbase. And this was, this was released under the 30-year rule um, from the Public Records Office. And a chap called Eddie Gonzalve, Goncalves of CND got onto it. And, and raised a fuss about the existence of enriched uranium near the Greenham Common Air Base. And he said that it was due to a bomb exploding, you know, some nuclear bomb exploding or catching fire at the air base. And in fact, there was a fire there. And we all thought that this was like British stuff being sent out to America. But of course, what it, what it seems to be now, almost certainly, is that the fire was consuming enriched uranium, which was being brought in by the United States Air Force to Aldermaston via the Greenham Common Air Base. See, it all goes, to, all fits together. It all fits together, like sort of all these little bits of my life, all these little studies, epidemiology study here, child leukemia in Newbury, you know, Alan Batchelor's uh, um, acquisition of this paper that shows the, the formula for the enriched uranium used in the British bombs, and then this other paper from Rocky Flats that shows the concentrations of uranium enriched in the uh, in its uranium in the American bombs. All right, so where do we go from here? Well, it could be that where I go from here is to jail. Um, well, I'm hoping not. <laughs> I'm hoping not. And partly that's why I'm making this video, because now that I can't be an expert witness, I can be an activist, according to the good judge William Charles. So here I am as an activist, telling you all out there what's going on. So I will act as a... As a, as a um, representative for the two uh, appellants, the two veteran appellants um, in the next lower tier tribunal. The, t the firm Hogan Lovells tried to knock the whole thing on the head, as you might imagine, because they absolutely don't want this to, to go ahead. So they said, oh, we don't want any more evidence, you know, in, br in brackets, we don't want Chris Busby's evidence. So they tried to tell the judge that they only wanted the next tier tribunal that he's ordered because he's overthrown the, the results of the first one. They wanted it to be reduced right down to very small size so they only heard a little bit of evidence from the last tier. No new, no, no new evidence was allowed in and no new witnesses were to be called and so forth. Anyway, of course, we said well, they shouldn't do that and the judge agreed with us. So, that, so Hogan Lovell's ploy didn't work. So they had to go off and think about what they're going to do next. So the only other thing that may happen is, the, is that the Ministry of Defence solicitor may appeal against the decision to the High Court. But we think probably he won't, because, because I think probably they'll lose, because there's no good reason to appeal this decision. There was no error of law there. 
And so it'll be, I mean, they might do it just to sort of stave off a bit of time. But anyway, if they do, we will certainly piggyback that appeal with an appeal about Chris Busby being an expert or not being an expert. Well, at least, actually, I'm not sure that I care. I think I'd rather be a representative because then I can cross-examine their witnesses. That should be something. They're going to wish that I wasn't there to cross-examine their witnesses. And of course, I may not be there. I may be in jail under the Official Secrets Act 1989. Thank you for listening. Or maybe... Third World War brings us all out. Oh yes, well, yes, well, of course, yes, that's right. It could be. There's a lot of saber rattling about nuclear weaponry at the moment in relation to the to the to the Russians, and so you know it, this this little business about the test veterans may be some side dish, and certainly it'll be pretty irrelevant when it comes to to the big one if it comes off. But I've made another video about that. Because what we've learned through the test veteran cases is that small amounts of exposure to fallout are lethal. So just imagine what large amounts of exposure to fallout will do. Thank you for listening.